Hi, this is Gopal again, uh, and welcome to the Relational Database Management System. This is part nine, okay? And in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the first normal form, okay? That is going to be really, really interesting, okay? So the thing is that uh, to normalize our data, we need to you know, go in stages. We have to first complete the first stage, then go to the next stage, then go to the third stage, like that, okay? So the first stage um, to be normal is the first normal form. And here, you have to just um, follow the basic rules so that you can normalize your table in the first stage, okay? Now what is the first normal form says is that your table must contain atomic data. Let me write it down. First condition, it should contain uh, atomic data. Second condition is your table or all the records in your table must be identifiable unitly. Got it or not? That means you all your data must be searchable or must be queried using a particular piece of information. So it's like uh, all your uh, records, sorry, should be uniquely identifiable. Okay? Uh, that piece of data is called the primary key. Now primary key as you all know that is a piece of information attached to your record which uniquely identifies your whole record. Got it? Yes. Good. Okay, let me give an example of it. Okay, and here as you can see we have a bank account database okay and as you can see we have got two columns first name and last name which contains Mitchell Johnson, Monty Power, Mitchell Brown and Bill Gates alright now as you can see the first name here there are exactly two persons with the first name which is Mitchell now if you try to search the exact Mitchell Brown with the first name as the condition, you will get two person. But that's not what you require, right? So you need a particular you know identification which will identify each Mitchell uniquely. And that is what we have called the account number, right? So this is this account number is the primary key. This is our primary key. I cannot write in computers. Impossible, right? Okay, whatever. So account number is the number which uniquely identifies all the records in my bank account database table, right? Okay, let's now see how do you really you know put it in the database okay let's see what we have here um, so databases and uh, we were working on test I think so use test and so tables here imply uh, let's see select everything from imply and we have the implied table. Now, because it doesn't have any primary key column, and uh, as, uh, okay, first condition, wait, the first condition is all the columns, all the records, all the information should be atomic, okay? And as you can see, the first name is atomic, first, the last name is atomic, age is atomic, salary is atomic, and post is atomic as well. So we don't have any problem with atomic data. The problem we'll have is we do not have a unique identifier, okay? The names can be repeated, the first name, the last name can be repeated, the age can be repeated, the salary can be repeated, and the post 
can always repeat it so we do not have a unique identifier so for that we need to add a unique identifier now the thing is if you have an existing table you can modify or you can add columns um, a particular column of primary key but that thing I'm gonna leave for some other tutorials okay because I just want to go through all the normalization part then I'll go to the how to modify your tables and how to alter data in your table so I'll just uh, create a new table from the existing table and I'll show you how to create the primary keys at the beginning okay so just being a little lazy here what I will do is I will try to copy the whole command of creating this employee table so how I do that you simply write down so create table imply and you'll have the whole info of shit you cannot copy this in Linux it does happens but in here it is just so sick <laughs> you cannot copy this sorry I have to write it down where is it no oh, pet plus plus there you go oh, what is this oh god new there you go. I just have to copy this uh, what is it for last name first time age salary in pause okay so rather than create table imply slash first name age salary post okay the first name would be variable character oops variable character and that's let me give the name <coughs> let's see 15 it should be not null of course okay highlighting sequel better should be variable character as well 15 not null oops age should be int the digit should be 2 of course not null salary should be int it should be four digit or sorry five digit okay not null post should be variable character and psi 15 again it should be not null as well all right now if i want to put a primary column primary key column so i'll say imply um id okay and just put it this way it should be int and it should be not null it should be a primary key that's it you can write like this or you can write like this as well okay after you do all the columns definition then what you will say you'll say primary key and in the bracket you will say the name of the column right that will also create the primary key the employee id as a primary key column right so let's see whether this works or not just put a semicolon to end it uh oh sorry uh da, 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 da. Okay. There you go, paste, click enter, and the employee table already exists. Sorry. Second. Okay. <laughs> okay. Copy this. Paste it. And it is done. Let's see. Now describe employee. Oops. Second okay and you'll have there you go you see this is primary the employee ID is a primary key and that's 
not uh, by default when you do not provide any size or integer it already takes the maximum value and that is 11 okay and and here is a little trick the trick is if you want to uh, fill up your employee ID primary key column automatically and uniquely uh, you can say auto increment auto increment and that will fill up the employee ID with auto incrementing integers automatically you don't have to fill it up okay so just do it copy uh, there you go I already do dropped this table first so just press enter and it's done and when you see uh, describe uh, employ second here as you can see we have extra and that's auto increment okay let's test it so I'll have this uh, let's let's insert some values insert into employ second and I want to fill up the last name fill up the first name fill up the age salary post and that's it I don't want to fill up the employee ID manually it should be in it should be filled up automatically in an incremental order alright so the values should be um, say just for uh, the sake of example let me give you an example just a little bit um, say Shara Lex whatever it is doesn't matter age is 34 salary is 23 455 post is manager okay let's see copy this paste and it's done let's see select everything from apply second oops what oops it's employ and it's just a single E is it oh, it's a double E and there you go we have fill up all this information but one thing you can see we have employee ID filled up automatically starting at one and when you fill up other records it will be filled up automatically in an incremental order okay so thank you for watching and that's it for this tutorial see you in the next tutorial and please please subscribe thank you